This is part three of the console sort application tutorial that we're writing here in Visual Basic.net. And what we're going to do in this part is we're going to write a subroutine that's going to sort the list of string that we created uh, in part two. But before we get too far ahead of ourselves, I want to talk a little bit about the sort array that we're going to be using called the bubble sort. The way this works is it starts at the top of the list and it actually compares the word that it's working on. It'll, it'll stay at the first word and it'll compare it against all the words in the, uh, in the list and it'll swap if the word that it's comparing it to is alphabetically before it. So in this case, word one and word two, it's going to compare those two words and indeed Kevin comes before Mark alphabetically so it will swap those two words now it's gonna stay not with mark but with Kevin because position one is where it's staying now it's gonna come down and it's gonna see that Adam is the third word it's gonna do a swap again and it'll put Adam up here and it'll actually put Kevin in this spot and then it's gonna compare Adam to the next one Joey it won't do a swap for the rest of the list, of course, because it's the first alphabetical word. Then it comes back up and compares Mark to Kevin, and it will do a swap there, and it will keep doing that all the way to the end until it's finally comparing the second last word to the last word. And what we'll have at the end of that whole deal there is we will have a list of uh, words sorted alphabetically. So I don't need that file. I have another copy of it in the uh, the folder that this application is using. And we'll, we'll go ahead and start writing this subroutine. So we're going to call it, uh, we're, we'll call it sort my array. Even though we're not really sorting an array, we're sorting a list of string, but let's not be too technical. We're going to do this. We're going to pass in the uh, list of string up there uh, from the main subroutine and we're going to call that this one here uh, my sort we're going to we have to use the same type so that is a list of string and we're just passing in that uh, whoops I forgot to close close that uh, we're passing the my array uh, variable into uh, this sort array so we need to we actually need to write the statement up here uh, we're going to use sort my array and we're going to pass in my array and then we're going to go to go to work on that uh, it's going to sort the words in the list of string and then what it'll do is it'll actually write those words to the text file so we're going to have a couple loops that we're going to go through, but before we get, do that, we're going to declare a few variables. We're going to use a temp uh, string variable, and we'll use that. Uh, that's going to be used to swap when we're swapping the words. Uh, we'll we'll also have another one. We'll call it write path, and that's actually going to be a string variable as well. Uh, that is going to be the path name that we're going to write our file to. And it's going to be equal, and it's going to be in the same folder that the uh, my file above is in. And we'll call that sorted text. Sorted text, and we need to use uh, an integer that's going to be represented by the the actual size of the uh, my sort uh, list that we're uh, that we're passing in. Now we can use the size of that. We can use the count property of the list, and we're actually going to take one off of that. And the reason for that is because we're going to loop through. We're going to use zero as a uh, counting the first value in our uh, list of string. So if we had ten. If we had 10 uh, objects or 10 items in there, we're going to go 0 through 9. So we'll count them and then we'll take one off. So uh, the next thing we're going to have is we're going to use a stream writer. So we'll call that my writer as stream writer. And we're going to make that a new stream writer. And 
what are we going to write? We are going to write to the right path. Uh, don't think too much how that stream writer works. The, that's what's nice about .NET. Uh, the, all these libraries, classes that we can use. Uh, we're using the stream writer. We're going to write to that path, and we're going to actually write our lines in the. You'll see how it works in a in a bit, but uh we're going to loop through we're going to call this first loop loop 1 and we're going to loop through uh from 0 to uh max which is the uh number of words now think about that as the first word and we we don't need to go all the way to the end we only need to go to the second last word so the first loop is only going to take the first word in the list and all the way down to the second last word in the list. The, the, the inside loop, or the, the words that we're comparing to, we'll call that loop 2, that needs to actually go uh, to the end, but it doesn't need to start at the beginning. It just needs to stay one word ahead of loop 1. So we could just say uh, loop 1 plus 1, but we're going to go to the end, so to max. Um, then we need to compare. So th think about this like the first time through both of these loops. The first word, which is represented by zero, and this first, uh, the second word, which is represented by one in the actual uh, uh, my sort list. So we need to look at the, those two words. If my sort loop one is greater than my sort loop two whoops, loop 2, then uh, if that's the case, uh, it's greater than, that means it needs to go below it, it needs to swap. So we will use the temporary string that we assigned up there, and we will say that equals the my sort uh, loop 2, and then uh, we'll just swap my sort, uh, what, what's held in loop 2 now, is what's in loop one, my sort loop one. And of course, in my sort loop one, we will store what's in the temp. So that's just a way of rearranging those two words by using, we we'll use temp. Okay, so that swap the words. Uh, and it's only going to do that if that statement in the if statement is true. So if it's, if, if, one is greater than two, which means uh, further along in the alphabet, it's going to do the swap. Now, once that goes through the loop two the first time, what we'll have in our my sort array in the loop one position, which is the first time through is in the zero position or the first word, that'll be the first alphabetical word. So once we're out of that loop two for the first time, we can go ahead and use the my writer object and write a line because that f that's going to now be the first word in the list. So <coughs> we'll take my sort item, uh, the, the item that's in the loop one position, and we'll just go ahead and, and uh, write that to string. And that will be, uh, that's how we write to that file. And it'll come back up and get a new, uh, number number one it'll go through that's the second word and it'll go through all the words again and it'll write that second word and et cetera et cetera and it'll go all the way to the end and it'll finally write the last word and then once we're done with the last word we can go ahead and uh, dispose of the writer dispose of the writer and we'll save it and we will Go ahead and look in our debug folder, and we'll see that there's no file there. But when we run this, you'll see the console open up real quick and close. Now when we go in our and look in our debug folder, we'll see this sorted file there. And we'll open that text file up, and sure enough, there is a list of words sorted alphabetically. So it seemed to have worked. In part four, what we're going to do is we're going to count how many words started with uh, each letter of the alphabet and we'll write those to a third file. So we'll look for part four for that.